Supergirl issue 2, written by Steve Orlando and art by Brian Ching. Connor, Connor went away thinking we'd be talking about Birds of Prey for a long time. Oh, but, he'll jump in. He's a smart guy. He'll... Yeah. Um, not surprisingly, I love this issue. Mm-hmm. It's Did pretty you? solid. Yeah. It's, uh, of course, it starts off with the confrontation with uh, Cyborg Superman mm-hmm. uh, that really ended the last issue on. And they have a pretty neat fight where he tries to tell her, you know, this and that about being her father and Argo City and all the rest of it. But after that fight, the issue is, deals a lot with uh, Kara getting a job with uh, Catco. Catco. Because Cat, yeah. Cat Grant like, comes to the school for like a sort of, uh, like, what do you call them? The... like a seminar like a like a job fair type yeah one. like a job fair kind of thing yeah, yeah. and the she set, she kind of notices Kara despite the fact that she's not the one that actually stands up and answers the question and that, that's a bit of a contention actually for the, for the kid who did he's not very pleased that Kara also got a job interview <laughs> I don't like this kid yeah the kid's like, a bit he's of very a and that's good writing on Orlando's part because I instantly just did not like him based off yeah. of his his answer so, and also Cat, I'm reading as close to Flockhart, which I think is good. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of doing that too. So, because it's just the way that the dialogue flows and how it's snappy, even though it's one-sided, it's just her almost monologuing. You know, I like that. And they hinted at her relationship with the Daily Planet and being like the, the gossip, but she's beyond gossip now because that was just a means to an end. You know, uh, as I liked all that cyborg Superman stuff, not so much. Like, um, I'm not, like I think that's the least interesting stuff so far. But I don't think yeah. it's uh, like I feel like once we get deeper into it, it will probably become more interesting because I, I I do like the ending. I like the cliffhanger yeah. that he has either rebuilt or went and rescued what was left of Argo City, and it's like. Well, he says it's still like thousands of miles away, but it's it's relatively close to Earth. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, in, it's so distance. close that Kara can use her supervision to see it. Exactly, exactly. And so, it just gets me that he said he co-opted Brainiac's technology. Mm. So, like, there's no way. I think he's just a delusional robot man. Like, there's no way that's real Argo City. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. In I- my mind. Yeah, you know I, I, mean? don't, I don't think he's just went and found Argo City, and it's like yeah. that's like, or if he if he did, it was a wasteland, and he's just kind of built on yeah. top of it. But we we get a lot of cool stuff with uh, like when he has this mental link with her, and he like tells her yeah. about all the backstory and how he came to be like now. And uh, also, I like that they actually showed Kara changing her hair. Like they just they confirmed that okay, she can do this now. Like yeah. this this is what she. It's not a wig. She just physically changed yeah. her hair color. It's a, it's a new power. Yeah, which makes me wonder, can Superman do that too? <laughs> maybe maybe that's how he always has like an instant beard for a disguise when he needs one. Yeah. The Kryptonians can, be... can actually control their hair. Hmm. Interesting. Explains the mullet too. Yeah, yeah. It explains how, how he cuts his hair as well without like earth scissors. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just um, cool with it because clearly they're using the show as almost a baseline. Yeah. Here. Like not as bad as Arrow or Green Arrow tried to do. During the New 52. But, like, Melissa Benoist has that dirtiest, blondish hair. Yeah. You know, that, that could go either way, depending on the lighting. So, yeah. I think uh, it's a noble attempt at trying something different here. Yeah, and like I said, I said this last time, but I really like the art. I love the facial expressions that she keeps pulling. Every time she's annoyed, I'm just like, I'm loving it. Like, keep her annoyed. Yeah. Supergirl annoyed is great in this book. Yep. Uh, and <laughs> they also show some of her compassion as well. And she goes to... Uh, yep talk to the, the the guy she like caught last issue and actually wanted mm-hmm. to try and have a word with him no we didn't actually get to hear that conversation we just sort of got the setup for it but i'm wondering yeah. if we'll maybe go back to that later if she'll build up like a repertoire with some of her her mm. uh, not victim victims is the wrong word her uh, criminals that she's yeah. taken in suspects suspects so that that force thing the like the force field was that meant to be like it, it keeps them out and she has a pass to walk through or what, was that just her superpowers? Yeah, I wonder if that's just... Her. It just uh, doesn't work on Kryptonians, maybe. And that's why she can just yeah. walk in. I wonder if there's just a thing that, like... Because this is in the DEO, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, it's their thing. I wonder if they just have it, like, where they all have a chip. that If you if you have one of these chips on you. Yeah. yeah. You I like to think it's better, though, that she's just, like... Not an intimidation thing, but not even thinking. She walks through the thing that 
he can't. Yeah, but you, you got to imagine they've got to have a way that they, that anyone can get through it, so that they can you know feed him. Well, I imagine it just yeah. turns off if they want to go in. Yeah, oh, that's true. Just a button at the oh. side. I, I hate to go low tech on you, Connor, but it could just be a button at the side. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, That's Supergirl's boring. Supergirl's good. Like, I, yeah. it's an enjoyable read. Also, it, it appears that Cyborg Superman on this New Argo City that he's brought with him, uh, he's he's built like a robot version of his wife. <laughs> it feels like he's built a robot version of like the entire population. Well, yeah, yeah. but I mean specifically the one at the front is like meant yeah. to be you know Supergirl's mom. Laura. Yeah, so that that should be interesting. Yeah. Also, just completely off the top of the issue, but Matt mentioned earlier the variant cover. Uh, the Bengal cover for this is just phenomenal. Yep, I got that I one too. It. I'm jealous. That, that's the one that it. opening the the shirt, Superman yeah. style. Yeah. yeah. Yep, I had to get that one. Yeah, yeah. No, so uh, that's Supergirl. Very good. Connor missed half of that, but I assume you liked it as well. Loved it. Good. Good.